What's happening, everybody? Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. We are inside of Lyra Starter Game for Unreal Engine 5. And today is going to be a really quick tutorial that a lot of people have asked me about. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it right quick. It's how to remove the uh, countdown, wait for player. Um, I can see multiple reasons to do this if you're working on a certain type of of game you don't want it to count down you want to just go right in also everyone's not a fan of running around before the match starts so as I did also when testing it's annoying to have to keep waiting for this every single time you're testing all right so I'm gonna show you guys how to remove this little screen here and the little countdown three two one and then the reactivating all right so i'm gonna show you guys how to remove that let's go ahead and get into it all right guys so here we are inside a lyra starter game for unreal engine 5 and we are going to go ahead and what you're going to want to do to get rid of that annoying little uh countdown every single time you uh play or test your project on a build is to simply go to plugins you want to type in phase as I did here, and I'll take it out so you can see here, P-H-A-S-E. Type in phase, and it's warm up is the one we want. So phase warm up, all right? And you'll see that there are two. There's one for the top down arena, and what I'm looking at is the path. As you see here in the drop down box, there is a path that says top down arena. We do not want that one. We want this one here that says shooter core experiences, okay, phases. All right, so you wanna double click on this guys and once you're in here, basically it's telling you the logic here and I'm gonna hover over this on purpose just so you can understand more of what's going on. It says should skip and directly, uh, skip directly to gameplay. And if you hover over this, you'll see the message that says should game logic skip directly to gameplay, skipping any match warm up, um, waiting for players, slash, et cetera, aspects. Will always return false except when playing in the editor and B test full game flow in Pi in Lyra developer settings is false. All right. So this is the easiest way to do it. If you guys don't want to do the warm up, if it's true to skip, you see it skips all of this code and goes directly down to the end here to where it says, Lyra phase subsystem and it's doing playing here phase playing so this is where the game actually starts playing all right so all of this stuff before which it says finish finish warm-up phase and all that and then that's where it has to reload uh content like reload the players and things like that so the easiest way guys to take care of this problem and especially for a temporary quick fix is just take this false and put it here so no matter what now whether it's true or false it's going to skip all of this and it's going to go directly here to phase playing and that should eliminate your problem then you want to compile and save and then i'm going to build this guy so you guys can check it out and we can make sure that this is working all right all right guys we're back so let's go ahead and go in and play and here we go, and let's see if that worked for us. And there you go, no countdown, we're right in the game. So that's all you guys gotta do. Um, if you wanna remove that countdown, go right to action. Um, there you have it. All right, guys, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Tell a friend, man, Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games, man. More tutorials to come. That was just a nice little quick one, man. Hope it helps you out.